people out there have a fear of flying. Well, two things are true. Flying in an airplane is much safer than driving a car. However, accidents do happen. David Green from Green and Phillips joins us once again on Studio 10. And David, you actually have a little experience flying yourself. Well, yes, I do. Fortunately, I was able to learn many years ago to fly, and um, it's a great thing, and it's a very, it's a lot of fun to do. It can be very safe, but you have to do it right. All right, so let's talk about those things. When you get on an airplane, you expect to arrive safely, but what are some of the reasons that an accident can happen? Well, typically, the statistics show that, once again, you're safer on an aircraft. However, basically, it's always pilot, well not always, but generally pilot error and weather related. So you're looking at 75, 80% of the time it's either pilot related or it's weather related. Now of course we want to relate this to legal terms as well. So what should someone do if they or a loved one has been injured in an aviation accident? Well they need to sit back and let the National Traffic Safety Board do their investigation. They do an extensive investigation of the scene of all of anything that actually happened and then they need an aviation attorney attorney to get involved to help you get the information about that accident and figure out whether or not you have a case. Now you mentioned that investigation. What sort of things are they looking for in an accident? Well that's a great question. <clears throat> They're looking at was there a weather issue? Did the pilot make an error? Was there a fuel issue? Was there a maintenance issue? Was there something wrong with that aircraft that everyone else should know before they fly in that type of aircraft? All right, so when you approach things in a legal sense, are there differences between an accident involving a large commercial airline or a small private plane? Well, there is, and, and basically a large, a large commercial aircraft is going to have not only the National Traffic Safety Board investigation, but that particular airline is going to have their investigation. So mm -hmm. it's gonna become very difficult for you as an individual to get information about that, that, about that incident. So you really need an attorney that can help you get that information on a smaller aircraft, it may be a little bit easier to get that information. Seems like there's a lot involved, a lot of moving parts, so how much would it cost to hire an aviation accident lawyer? Well, that is all based upon contingency, which means you only pay the lawyer if they get you money. That's how Green and Phillips operates, and that's how an aviation attorney should operate as well. So it won't cost you anything? It won't cost you anything unless we get you money. Alright, so if you have a situation like we said with you or a loved one, you want more information about it, feel free to contact David Green and his friends at Green and Phillips. All their contact information is on our website. David, good to see you again. Great to see you. All right, stay safe in the air. Thank you.